this will sound improbable to you, but the governing elites of Washington and uh, Wall Street have, are trying to embrace Obama, actually, and lure him into a grand bargain that is fiendishly um, tricky. They're saying the government has now expended all these billions say, bailing out banks, but it can recover its costs by looting Social Security and other entitlements. And the first time I read about this, really two years ago, when they were ginning up for this campaign, I thought, give me a break. You know, that's, they lost that fight. But they're pushing ahead very seriously. I won't go through all the details of, of who's in this, uh, but, a, but a number of people that uh, we used to count on our side, like tax-exempt foundations and some think tanks, have signed on in the name of fiscal responsibility. And if you listen carefully to the president in the last week and, and his inaugural, He's playing footsie with these folks for good reason. He needs them, or at least wants them, on board for a lot of other matters. So he is for fiscal responsibility and will be. This is an opportunity for the rabble, us and others, to change the politics. And that is to gin up a really broad, forceful, first educational effort and then campaign to declare loudly um, and aggressively, no, hands off Social Security. You can't run this through the Congress. You can't run it through a fiscal responsibility summit, which Obama has promised. You can't go through the machinery of Washington on this because we're going to tune up the people right now. The poster boy, the daddy warbucks, I say, of this movement is Pete Peterson. He's gonna, he says he's going to spend half of his fortune, which he made in Wall Street tearing up corporations, uh, with uh, $2, 000, $2 billion um, to alert the public to the danger of the elderly and the poor and the sick. We can win this fight, and we can, and we can, and, and I mean this sincerely. If we get in ahead of the schedule, that is before this, this movement has gained its momentum and bought enough votes in the Congress, we can win it and save Obama from these malevolent forces. He has taken consistently, clearly, a position that most of us would share. Social Security is sound. We're going to reform health care. Um, we can make some adjustments in Social Security, relatively minor, and it's, 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 uh, it's stable for another 60, 80 years. But, he's, but they're setting a trap for him, and we can mess that up big time.